Hi, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the John Lennon song Mind Games. This one's for John, uh, who I'm actually worried about you, John. Um, having to still work as a key worker with the way everything's isolated at the minute, but you're still having to go out, so take care. So John requested this one, John Lennon's Mind Games. Uh, now I've got a number of books, official books, that all contradict each other with the chords to this one. And there's a lot of stuff online and the chords are like kind of wrong. Now the reason for this is it's quite interesting when you look at John Lennon's songs because he uses simple enough chords, but there's always like descending bass lines. If you've noticed on Brian May's Instagram, he played You've Got to Hide Your Love Away, which is a John Lennon Beatles song. Similar kind of thing where there's like bass lines going on. Uh, and sometimes when this happens, People get mixed up with what the chords are called. So I've been playing along with the record uh, to try to get it right. And we're starting off with this C. I'll play the intro anyway. So that's our introduction. Starting off with a C chord, moving to an E minor slash B chord, which sounds a mouthful, but it's just a basic E, e minor, but instead of using the bottom E as the, the bass note, we we'll hear the B note, second fret of the A string being played. Now, in one of the books I looked at, it had it as a G6 slash B chord, which would be that. Or you could have, which is very little difference, but to me, if the B is the bass note, you want to be playing the, the B note, not the G. So, but that was one of the other ways. Either way, it kind of sounded very similar. Moving to an A minor seven, which is, moving to a C slash G. We've got A minor 7, which is just like that. Obviously, the chord box is on the screen. Moving to a C slash G, where you've got this G note here added in. So we've got. Moving to an F major 7, which is just that. A C slash E, which is a C chord with the bottom E string uh, left in to a D to a D7 slash C now again I've seen this written out as just D slash C uh, and also D7 slash C the D7 does sound right if you find that difficult getting your thumb over for the C if you're just doing this acoustically you could just stick with D and I don't think anybody would get upset. But what's happening here, when you look at the bass line of the chord progression, it's moving from C to B, A to G, F, E, D, C. It's kind of following that chord progression. So even the chords that contradict each other, the bass line, the bass notes are all there, which causes sometimes confusion. So I'll play that again, because the premise of the song is this, and there's another little bit which we'll look at in a minute. So you got Now I'm using that, you could just go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you want to jazz that up a bit, I'm kind of... What to watch out for with this one when he plays the introduction as he comes to the last chord on the D7 slash C, we're playing those. So you've got that. We're playing those and then the 
the chord progression starts again. My games, da, 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 da. And the chord progression continues. So watch out for that. So if you start singing or playing those on a C, you'll be out of sync. We'll come out uh, that a lot in a lot of songs. Now your next section that you need to know is when things go higher. We suppose we could call it a bridge. And I'll play it through. Which is kind of straightforward. We're moving from a C to a D. G. We've got this G7 slash F, which sounds a right mouthful. You could just play G7, but you can add the F bass note in there. E minor 7. G slash D, which is just that with these bottom two strings missed out. To D. So. the two sections that you need to know again with the bass line on this like bridge section it's going from C D G F E D D D so you can kind of see where the, the bass line is following by following them they're getting similar enough chords but John Lennon we always use I was looking at um, some Roger Taylor solo stuff off Electric Fire one of the songs on there he actually does work in class he's look funny enough and he does another song which is john lennon-esque in the same way that he, he uses descending bass lines in it it's quite good for songwriting that you're able to uh, where brian may pointed out was using simple enough chords but making things interesting by changing the bass lines and uh, he used john lennon master it using that a great effect so I hope that's how you be able to play mind games by john lennon a bit of difference from uh, the normal queen related stuff I still managed to relate it to Queen in some shape or form, uh, as always. So keep safe, John. I hope you're okay. I hope we hear from you soon. And as always, thank you for watching.